Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see? Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family. Videos with her children or grandchildren. Because nobody fucks with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real? Except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies. Not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. You talked about how um, you, my children, families are off living. They weren't when you were running across Vegas. I mean, on the stage in Detroit. They weren't when you were talking shit on social media. When you got your ass whipped and your tickets dropped, then they became off limits. But let's do this. Let's decide that you will treat my children like you treat yours, like you don't know them, invisible, like you have no relationship with them, like you're estranged, you're, like you're unfamiliar, like you don't know them. All right, I'm back. Once again, Monique is trending, and I have to go back and watch those two D.L. Hughley videos because he be spitting some truth. Like, every time I go back and watch something, I'm able to tie it into what's going on. And he made a really crazy point when he said, you need to treat my daughters how you treat your own, you know, children. Treating them like they're invisible, like you have nothing to do with them. Just treat them like they're strange. And that's exactly what we're seeing going on with Monique. Well, if you guys do not know, once again, she's trending because it's weekend. She went on stage and she went in on Shalon, her son. So basically what happened is that, you know, some elder stopped her and, you know, wanted to give her some advice as far as, you know, parenting because the elder had saw Shalon on TikTok talking about Monique. And she says, you know, I want to tell you something. Fuck that nigga. And then she just goes on to go off and, you know, all types of stuff. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this video really quick. I want to apologize if I've done something wrong, but I ain't no bitch that's going to back up from a motherfucking problem. I'm going to walk straight to that motherfucker and I'm going to deal with that shit. So today I'm coming through the airport in North New Jersey. It's the realest thing that I've ever met from North New Jersey. I'm coming through that motherfucking airport and I've been just seen this motherfucking TikTok <laughs> of my goddamn son. Had I known that nigga was going to do a TikTok the day I brought him home, I'm going to let y'all take that one. Sorry, it is. And when you see your child that you fuck for, <laughs> I fuck for that nigga, not another bitch, it was me. And you see your motherfucking child go on a goddamn internet and tell people all the fuck that you're not. Oh, fuck that and you just supposed yeah. to take that shit and stride. And I'm taking that shit in stride. And I'm walking through the motherfucking North Airport and this elderly woman comes up to me. She said, Monique. I said, ma'am. Because <laughs> I'm a respectful bitch, baby. I'm a respect this bitch. She old. <laughs> she said, let me talk to you for a minute. So I had prepared myself for this old woman to tell me how fucked up I was. I prepared myself to be respectful, but to check a bitch if I had to. I prepared myself to listen. She said, listen, my grandbaby called me and told me to watch this goddamn TikTok of your son. And I watched that shit. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I want to tell you something. I said, ma'am. She said, fuck that nigga. <laughs> And I got a son 60 years old, and every time that nigga don't get what he want, he still tell me how fucked up I was when he was 10 years old. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Fuck them kids, bitch. Word. They grown now. And 
thing she said to me. She said, see, when I was a younger woman, I had to work too, goddammit. She said, and this is Black History Month, and I had to do a job that don't nobody talk about. When they was out there in that Civil Rights March fighting and shit, I had a job to do. She said, I was one of the hoes of the Civil Rights Movement. I said, bitch, I'm not playing with you. She said, somebody had to keep them niggas trained. All right, y'all just heard what Monique said. Basically, she said, fuck them kids, honey. You know, there's a lot of that going on on social media. A lot of people, you know, seem to hate children. I don't care if it's little children or grown folks. But um, Monique went off and, um, you know, a lot of people are saying, hey, it's comedy. Y'all are being too sensitive. But a lot of people are really upset about it. They're not feeling Monique in the way she's talking about her son. And even when Shalon Jackson heard about this, he took to social media and he said the following. <laughs> be gone Satan I rebuke thee in the name of black Jesus <laughs> he said dang mama I still love you though laughter will get me through alright see I just heard what Shalon had to say about the situation so like I said social media has been lighting her ass up I'm gonna read to you guys some of these comments um, somebody here says Monique went from having the world on her side to a villain in less than a week and it's her own damn fault. Somebody else says Monique will never get accountability that's owed to her from what went down in her career until she accepts accountability and does the work to mend things with her son. Saying F him is wild to me. Kids don't choose to be here and parents need to mend these bonds actively. Another person says Monique's bit wasn't funny and validated all that Shalon said. More than anything, I hope he's got good people around him. I can't imagine what it feels like to tell your truth and your parent weaponizes their fan base and says F you and jokingly imitates that she should have aborted you. Somebody else says this is disgusting and don't give me that it's comedy. No, it's how she really feels and validates. To me, that son wasn't lying and for them to be laughing and agreeing with her is some sick shit. Monique, you are the problem. Somebody else said Monique just triggered the fuck out of me because even if we were thinking it, why would you say that out loud about your son for laughs? So as you guys can see, a lot of people were really disturbed by what Monique had to say. They were not here for it at all. So now in other comedy news, the man that just keeps on giving, who is Cat Williams, if you guys don't know, him and Nicki Minaj were trending today and they were trending because Nicki Minaj wants Cat Williams to join her Pink Friday 2 tour. So she took to social media to ask, you know, people, can they hit him up? Can they talk to him? She really wants him to be on the Pink Friday 2 Gag City tour. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this. Oh, here, here's what I did want to ask you guys. Outside of here, stylist, I want to know. Now, I know that this is the busiest man in show business, okay? I know that. He's rich, and I know that, you know, he's the funniest man in showbiz. Um, can y'all hit up Cat Williams and ask him what would be his price to, to, hi, Haiti, how are you, to be a part of the Pink Friday 2 Gag City Tour? So quite a few people were not feeling Nicki Minaj asking Cat Williams to go on tour. So somebody says, girl, them tickets ain't selling. Another person says, laugh my ass off. Monica, Nicki, and Cat. Shit, what's next? LeBron James. Somebody else says, who in New York speaks like this? It just seems so forced and nasally on purpose. I'm from the South. Can somebody please explain? Because I've never heard a New York dialect like hers. Somebody else says, Nikki should be at a level in her career where she doesn't have to low-key clout chase. It's weird. Somebody else says, adding a comedian to a music tour is strange. Another person says, at this point, just cancel the tour. It's not selling. Somebody else says, all that time she said on the internet arguing with people and your tour not together is ridiculous. Then somebody else says, Little Kim had him on the naked truth and all. Dang, Little Kim is still the blueprint. Somebody else says, Monica and Kat, what kind of circus is this? Somebody else says, why not ask him directly? All of this is for clout. Somebody else says, sounds opportunist. You wouldn't ask him to do that if he ain't go viral, LOL. So that is what's currently going on in the comedy world. Once again, you know, a lot of drama is still popping up. And Nikki wants Cat Williams on her tour. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. What do y'all think about both of these stories? How do you guys feel about what Monique said about Shalon Jackson on stage? 
Do you feel like it's just a joke, people are too sensitive? Or do you feel like that's really how Monique feels about her son and that's not right for her to basically blast him and talk bad about him in front of her fans? And the last but not least, how do you guys feel about the whole Nicki Minaj, Cat Williams situation, her wanting Cat Williams to go on tour with her? Do you think he'll do it? Do you think it'll be a good look? Or do you feel like she needs to just focus on doing her tour and not worry about trying to bring in a comedian? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.